Hi, I'm Cindy Traciola, real estate agent, and today we're in Littleton, Colorado. We're in the Solstice community. I'm gonna show you a Shea home called Tallgrass. Let's go take a look. This home has 3,808 finished square feet with an optional in the basement of 1,277. The base starting price is 974,990. Now when you first walk in, you'll notice that you can go a couple different directions, but we're gonna go immediately to the right. And this is the huge office. I mean, this could be a flex room, whatever you want it to be, but it is ginormous. And there's a lot of natural lighting as well as recessed lighting. As you can see, this table is quite large and there's still a lot of open space in here. So this is just a great space. Now when you come out here, let's go back into this hallway that we have right here and let's go to the right and I'm going to show you that here we've got the main level powder room right here. And then this door is for the coat closet. And then this is one of the access points to the laundry room. And they've got this little thing if you wanna have a pet here. I mean, they've just made this laundry room really, really usable. We've got a gorgeous countertop, quartz of course, great cabinetry, utility sink, a ton of cabinets. So if you wanna fold your laundry in here, there's plenty of space. And it wraps around to the primary closet, which I'll show you here in a minute. Let's go back out this direction, and we're gonna go back through this little hallway. And here we've got our staircase that will take us downstairs to the basement, which is finished and it is super cool, so we'll show you that here in a minute. But first, I wanna mention we also have our staircase going up right here. We're gonna keep walking this direction and come into the great room. So here we've got our fireplace with some built-in shelving and cabinetry. There's a lot of room in here and a lot of natural lighting. And then if we go to the left, we've got our little mudroom area right by our garage door. And then here we've got a big coat closet. Now let's look at the kitchen. So here we've got gorgeous, gorgeous countertops. This island is beautiful, love it. We've got a thick slab right there. We've got all stainless steel appliances. We've got a five burner gas stove. And if we come down here a little bit more, I'll show you here we've got our microwave and our oven and their KitchenAid upgraded appliances. And then we've got this little additional area with a beverage cooler, which is really nice, a window, so we've got natural lighting, looking right into our walk-in pantry. So just a great space. If you're wanting to cook, this kitchen is phenomenal for that. And then if we go back a little bit this direction, now we're in the dining room. And this dining room has some really cool beams on the ceiling, recessed lighting. You could add a cool chandelier if you want, but the way they've done it is really nice. And then we've got our sliders that will take us out to the backyard. So here we've got a covered porch. And here's our yard, which is not huge, but there's still some room. So if you don't want a lot with a lot of maintenance, a lot of yard work, now let's go back inside and I'm gonna show you the primary bedroom, which is on this level. So if we continue over this direction, let's cut through the kitchen and we're gonna go right through this hallway right here and now we're gonna be in the primary suite. So if you're wanting a main level primary, this 
could be the home for you because this is a great primary suite. We've got gorgeous windows right here, letting all the sunshine in. It's quite a large bedroom. This lot has a bit of a mountain view, which is nice. There are a lot of different lot options, so if that's what you're looking for, that might be a possibility. And then over here, we've got a barn door, so if you wanna shut that off, shut the bathroom off, you can do that. Let's go take a look at the primary bathroom. Here we've got our soak-in tub right when you walk in, really nice. Then we've got our walk-in shower, spa shower. We've got our little niches and our little bench. And then this gorgeous countertop here on our bathroom sinks. So we've got dual sinks, great cabinetry, of course. And then here we have the loo. And then now we're in the walk-in closet. And this is phenomenal. I love how they have added the drawers and all of the cabinetry. It's just really great. The shelving. And then we can go right into, like I said, the laundry room. So here we've got the laundry room right off the primary so you're not lugging laundry all over. Now let's go check out the upstairs. When you get upstairs, you come into this loft, which as you can see is very bright. There's a lot of room in here. We've got a shuffleboard table over here. If you wanna watch TV, have drinks over here, there is a lot of room. And this upstairs has something really cool that I'm gonna show you here in a second. Let's go through this hallway first and let's go directly to the left into this bedroom. Now, how cool is this bedroom? Love this. Very light, very bright and cheery. This room has a lot of room, very high ceilings. This is just a great bedroom that drops right into a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is really nice with our quartz countertops, tons of room in here. But the best thing is this right here, which is a washer and dryer. So no lugging the laundry up and down the stairs from the upstairs or the downstairs. And then we've got this cool bathroom. Love the octagon shaped tile, linen tile on the floor. It is just a really great bathroom. Love it. Now let's go in this bedroom and look at this. This room is really nice as well. A lot of windows, well, two, but two big ones. And then we've got a walk-in closet with another window. So a ton of natural lighting in here. Now let's come out of here and we're gonna go down this little hallway. Right here, we've got a linen closet. And then here we've got the second level AC furnace right there. And then let's go to the other side of the loft, this direction. One cool thing, here we've got a little chute. Now we're in a junior suite. And look at how pretty this is and love it. Now, if we come through here to the right is where you'll find the walk-in closet. And that's pretty large. And then here, if you continue this direction, you'll be in the bathroom. Really, really nice. Love the tile again. The bathroom tile is really phenomenal. Now let's go check out the basement. It is amazing. This basement is ginormous and it is super cool. You're gonna see some things you've probably never seen before. When you first get down here, here we've got a door to storage. So on top of this being finished and huge, there's even more room for storage. We've got this cool area for watching movies, 
playing games. Then we've got another area right here with a table, maybe some poker, whatever. Then we've got this huge bar. So cool. Tons of room for seating. And then we've got a beverage cooler. We've even got a dishwasher. Super nice, so you don't need to be doing any dishes down here. A sink, tons of counter space, really nice lighting. And then we've got this area for seating. And then here's your entertaining section. So if you've got somebody wanting to play drums or doing dance or, you know, of course you can make this however you want. But this was just a really cool idea. Now I'm gonna take you to the other side of this cool basement, show you a few more things that we have. Let's go to the right. And here we have a bedroom, really nice. Again, high ceilings, even though we're in the basement. So it feels very, very open down here. And if we come out of this bedroom and we go through this little hallway, now we can go right into this bathroom right here where we've got a walk-in shower and then a sink, of course the loo, just a great bathroom for the basement. And then here we have a linen closet and then a door to more storage. So there you have it. Lots of room down here. Just some ideas of what you could do with this space. If you would like to see this home in person, please contact me. I'd be happy to help you out. That's it for the tour today. Thank you for coming along and I will see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.